Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about uh, conditional access policy. In this policy, we are going to showcase how you can block the user from specific country or only allow from specific country and block from the rest of the world. So here I am going to show you and I am using my virtual machine and where I am installed my uh, Tor browser. Uh, in this you can see the Tor browser is already connected and it is showing the, the location Amsterdam I guess it is in comes in Netherlands uh, yeah so yeah so my one of my user is able to log in from that country so I want to block to the specific India country and not allow any user to log in from the rest of the world here for the testing that is uh, this Grady A and he is able to log in from that country so i'll quickly i'll take you to the office 365 admin portal and i'll show you how you can create that conditional access policy so we are in azure active directory conditional access tab you can come here by clicking i'll just take you from the azure active directory you click on the azure, azure active directory log in with your admin global admin uh, account and then you need to come protect and secure under this there is a conditional access tab when you come here you need to create the new policy but before that i'll quickly i'll show you the user that we are using right now for the testing what is happening with that so this is the user that we are currently using for the testing and i'll quickly show you his sign in logs so from where he is currently accessing his yeah so you can see this user is successfully able to log in on Office 365 portal from the location this and uh, yep so yeah so we are going to block this guy not to log in from any other country just to allow login from the specific country or the Indian India location right so what I'm going to do I'll go here conditional access policy and here i'm going to create a new policy and i will say okay allow but before that one thing we need to create now my location is india so i'm going to create one location that is belongs to the india so i'll say okay i you can add the specific ip address range also but if you allow all the users to connect from the india then just uh, use a country so i'll just type uh, india head office this is my company location so i'll just find india and i'll just select this create so now the location is created india head office and the country is mentioned already so now we need to go to the policy and need to create a new policy so simple we are going to type a name allow access from india right so all my users need to log in from india so i'll just create here i'll select all i don't want any exclusions so i'll just keep uh, exclusion but if you can or if there is any user for example if any user is working from overseas that time also you can give a permission that okay you can add the exceptions to that user that okay this user can log in from anywhere so i'll give the permission to alex to work from uh, rest of the world or or we can create another policy to alex to just uh, log in from usa or the japan okay or australia so any countries we can allow alex to log in only okay so that that feasibility is also there so you need to play with this and uh, uh, create a policy according uh, according to your requirement as per your requirement requirement so now now i have selected all users only added, added the ex ex exclusion for alex and now i am selecting all cloud apps i not excluding i am not excluding anything and then conditional access here is the tricky part main so now you don't need to do any changes in all category it's just only the location part and now here is the tricky part see now i'll select s and uh, you need to select any location okay just just listen this include any location and exclude select it and i'm 
excluding India select okay so see I included all location any location and excluded the India office okay only this policy I have made the changes then I have to go to the grant access control and here I will say block and select so just keep in mind and uh, make it a proper decision otherwise you will lock yourself and uh, uh, open the access to the rest of the world right so I'll just repeat one more time in the location where is the location yeah location any location and excluded India office to allow access to all users to log in and then block access block so it will block rest of the world but exclude the India this is the way you can say okay I'm turning it on I know what I'm doing so I but you must keep this for the first time when you are doing uh, a testing or doing or changes in production environment so you keep the, this option at least to recover otherwise uh, you need to create a VM from that country to log in and make these changes or revert back this so now I know what I'm doing so I'll just go with another options and create so it will take a couple of seconds to create the policy yep the policy is created allow access from India and let's test I am jumping on my virtual machine again and this user is fellow already logged in so I'm going to log out sign out okay now I'm going to sign in with the same account come on sign in take me perfect trying to sign in same user and I'm going to put the password for this user super complex password and sign in let's see if the conditional access policy is in action or not ah perfect so the conditional access policy now in action you are signing successfully but does not meet the criteria to access the sick resource right from this location so this is the only information you or end user can see and uh, then uh, when you as IT admin if you notice something like this or any user is reported okay I'm not able to access something and then you need to check okay so now how to troubleshoot this issue now for example if any user given this and he travel to the another country and he uh, is not able to log in because of this conditional access policy right so you can see okay from this here you can go to the again go to the conditional uh, not conditional the user profile basically in azure active directory basically you need to go and uh, search for the all users and then you need to come to the that specific user and check the sign in logs but it sometimes it takes some time to replicate or show the logs here so we will just wait for a few minutes and uh, we'll see the logs are generated or not for that now logs are generated so i'll just quickly i'll show you uh, how to check this or how to troubleshoot this information uh, sign in logs so you can see the status is failure and uh, the failure reason is access has been blocked by conditional access policy this policy uh, does not allow uh, access right so this is and when you go to the conditional access tab you will see this is the policy that is blocking this access so you can go here and see which are the parameters are there and you know uh, because you created this policy so you know what is the reason behind it it is blocking and that's this is how it uh, looks and uh, yeah block the access for the users yeah this is all from this uh, small uh, video i hope you like it please like and subscribe to my channel and see you in next video thank you bye bye